So one of the things I'm constantly hearing about from people is how they get hangry, how they get to this point where they are so hungry that their mood gets affected, that they need to eat something right now, otherwise they're gonna go crazy, they're gonna start beating people up, and then they're gonna go on a freaking rampage around town. And this is something that can seriously throw a wrench into a diet or any other fitness regimen. If you're constantly getting hangry, if you're constantly in a bad mood because you don't have food available, then that can cause you a lot of issues if you're trying to burn fat, if you're trying to improve your life, and if you're just trying to attract people in general. People don't really want to be around somebody who's moody all the time. So how do you avoid that? Um, and the big thing that you have to understand is that a lot of this is actually controlled by blood sugar. When you eat something, your blood sugar goes up. And so when your blood sugar goes up, your body releases insulin. And when your body releases insulin, insulin's job is to bring blood sugar back down to baseline. So as your blood sugar goes down, you get hungry. You get the overwhelming urge to eat something and you get super moody. And so one of the benefits of ketosis is that on this diet, once you're fat adapted, your blood sugar is actually really, really steady. And so for me, having been fat adapted for quite a while, I don't have to worry about getting hangry. I don't get huge mood swings that drive me to eat here and there. Yes, I do treat myself every once in a while, but when I do, it's normally after I've done a good bit of exercise or when I've been strict on my diet for a really long time. For you guys out there who are experiencing these mood swings, ketosis could be super helpful. The other thing that's really helpful in reducing cravings is making sure that you're taking care of your digestive tract. If you're not taking care of your digestive tract, you can get an overgrowth of really unhealthy bacteria. And a lot of people don't know this, but your digestive tract is actually connected directly to your brain via a long nerve called the vagus nerve. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably do know that but a lot of people out there don't know that. And people actually say that you have two brains, one up here and one down here in your digestive system. And those bacteria in there can actually influence the way you think. They can cause you to go into depression. They can seriously influence everything about you. They've actually done experiments on mice where they've transferred bacteria from a, a, a healthy fit mouse um, to a fat mouse and vice versa. And then the healthy fit mouse became overweight, sluggish, more depressed, uh, and the fatter mouse actually became more fit, more active, and lost a lot of fat. These things can have a huge influence over you. So it's gonna be necessary for you to take care of your digestive tract by eating things like fermented foods and seeding your gut with good prebiotic foods. So fermented foods are like things like kombucha, raw sauerkraut, kimchi, and then prebiotic foods are things like raw cacao. Um, and also uh, resistant starch is a really good way of getting seeding your gut and eating green leafy vegetables, keeping a healthy environment in your intestinal tract to grow good bacteria that are gonna help your digestive system and help you to fight off inflammation. Now, for a lot of you, you're probably wondering, well, if I try ketosis, am I going to experience something like the keto flu where I'm gonna be getting hangry for a good period of time? And the fact of the matter is, if you learn how to do it the right way, that period will be brief. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it's not gonna be there, but you should be able to overcome it and be able to get fat adapted. And once you do, you'll be able to deal with these cravings a lot more easily. So if you're interested in learning how to adapt into ketosis the right way and how to maintain ketosis the right way, come over and check us out at warriorsoulketocamp.com. We don't only have information on helping to burn fat, we also have information on helping you to do things like balance your hormones and optimize your digestion to make this process a lot more easy. So with that, I'll be back at you soon with another awesome video. Until then, get out there and live your best life.